Okay, here we are back in my shop. I had a couple of requests for people to get some dimensions of the belt grinder that I made out of scrap steel that I had lying around. And I figured the best way to do this would just do a video and do it in three parts. I'll do the first part here and that's right now. I'll describe the dimensions of the basic frame of the belt grinder. The second one I'll do, I'll do of the platen and also the guide roller up on top that comes in the top. And then the third is, of course, the contact wheel that I have here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. If you're looking at the base, it's real simple. It's, uh, I described most of the components on the first video, but we'll go over all the different details about this. This is all scrap, so uh, you know, you don't have to go exactly on the dimensions, but I just wanted to point out some things. This part right here was just an old trailer hitch that I had lying around, and I thought I'd go ahead and make something useful out of it. But we can go ahead and put some dimensions to this, and that way you can make a copy of it without having to actually have a trailer hitch. The base of the grinder is a piece of 8-inch channel. It's 8 inches side to side, and it's 2.5 inches deep. And you can see on the back, or on this side, you can see that it is actually a piece of channel. I don't know if you can see it under there. There we go. And I got it as a piece of scrap. My local steel yard, they have bargain basement type stuff where you can go in there and uh, get the remnants. And this channel is 17 and a half inches long. So from this part here all the way to the front, that is 17 and a half inches long. These angles... Uh, the reason why I made this is because these angles were already on this bench when I bought it. And I figured it would be a good place to mount this grinder. It's up out of the way, it's off the floor, and I can store things underneath if I need to. These little pieces of angle are, uh, like I said, this is all scrap that I have around my shop. This is 12 inches long here, it's 2.5 inches wide, and it's 8 inches thick. And I went and had welded it on the back side and just dropped it in place and just makes a nice L shape on each side and then makes a really nice mounting point. The motor is set back. Of course, you can see it's just a little bit on that angle in the back. I had to really play with the dimensions on the motor to make sure that I had the proper distance on the belt so I had the belt tensioning correct. But the distance between the center line of the motor shaft right here, center line of the motor shaft, to the back of this upright is right at 7 inches. You can play with that with whatever you need, but right at 7 inches is what, I, what I've got here. Okay, these parts, this is a piece of square tubing. It's uh, two, and a half, 2 inch square tubing, and it's 6 inches long, and it's a quarter inch wall. You can see that. This little uh, bolt hole, that's the hole for uh, where the hitch pin used to go through. But I went ahead and welded just, it's a half inch nut on there. And then this is the, I don't even know where I put, oh here it is, the pinch bolt. That holds the, the, all the little pieces in place and then I just ground, put that in there. This is about an inch back. This upright is, 13 and 3 eighths inches tall. So from here all the way down to the base, now to the base, not to this plate, but to the base, it's uh, 13 and a half inches tall. And it's all welded in line with the edge of the, of the, of the channel, as you can see. The height of this, from the bottom to here, this is 4 inches. And then this here, this is a piece of 2 inch plate one quarter inch thick, two inches wide, and it's five inches long. And that just that just made up an angle here. Uh, this was actually part of the receiver hitch itself, but I went ahead and measured it because that's you'd probably need that for some support anyway. So to recap, we got eight inches channel, two and a half inches deep, two pieces of two and a half inch angle, eighth inch thick. They're twelve inches long. This piece here is eight inches eight inches long. This dimension from here to here is six inches, so this overhangs about two inches here. And then this is the upright, 
and then all the way back and then the distance from the base right here all the way up to the top that's 13 and 3 8 inches and this is welded 4 inches above the base so 4 inches to here hope that's clear I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to the next piece pieces that make this thing happen